can tell what's wrong with this picture The chick from Planet Attitude is my sister My mom could help but she's his base at the moment That isn't qualified to counsel a donut Bam! I didn't see that train Now I've got cartoons coming out of my brain No one can see them so it's hard to explain it I'll keep my head when there's a freak trying to claim it Till then, if I can make some new friends And not go off the deep end I bet I'm out of my head I'm so glad we're watching Sleepy Princess with your friends tonight. Oh, your dad took me to see it on our first date together. It's partly why I fell in love with him. That and my sweet, sweet mullet. Okay, if Robin's dressed up, I know she thinks it's a date. But if she's not, she may think it's a casual date or, or not a date at all. But she might think it's a date and not want me to know that she thinks it's a date. Shush! She's here! I'll get it. Hey. Whoa, she totally thinks it's a date. Hey, Jimmy. This is my friend Lance. No, no. He's in ninth grade. He does gymnastics. <laughs> hey, I'm just an ordinary guy with an extraordinary dream. Gold medaling at Beijing. Want to feel my abs? Um, no thanks. I just washed my hands. Oh, cool. A sleepy princess doll. My dad got one for me when I first saw the movie. If you were a foot tall, you'd be way hotter than that. <laughs> okay, let's watch the movie. I can't believe Mike's at a dumb werewolf convention in London. I'm all alone watching the most romantic movie ever. You're not alone. Craig's here. No, I'm alone. Sure as the rainbow delights from above, I'll find a prince who with me will find love. If it is love you seek, you should eat this magic apple. Thank you, good witch. You're as kind as you are ugly. Very, very kind indeed. Check this out. Haven't slept in a week, but my ontological switchamajig is now complete. Sonny, You're gonna love it. it. Ah! Jimmy, this little device allows me to bring cartoons into our reality. Uh, the only catch is to do that, an equal amount of reality needs to be sent over there. It's observe. Ah. Not too shabby, huh? Oh, oh, oh. I can't believe you're so talented. You don't even have your own place. Thank you. A device as powerful is sure to make me the greatest cartoonist that ever lived. And then people will like me. You hear that, Dad? You think you're so great just because you made a gazillion dollars in awesome cartoons. But I'll show you. <laughs> Oh. Hey, are you okay? Of course I am. I'm just so tired. I'm kind of having a rough time these days. Yeah, me too. I finally thought I was getting somewhere with Rob, and then she shows up with this guy, and... <laughs> I can't believe Robin. What does Lance have that I don't have? Well, let's see. That great looks, the strength to snap you in two like a corn chip. Oh, and Robin. That fortune cookie is right. I am going to be an old maid. Don't be silly. I know some single ladies who'd love to meet you. I, come on out, girls. Hi, Hi Jimmy. Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry. I only date humans. I'm a human foot. <laughs> I'm flattered and all. It's just... Oh. <gasps> I'm not going to date a cartoon. I'm not a freak. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs>
Or am I? Oh, this is a bad idea, kid. What's so wrong with borrowing an evil maniac's invention to bring a cartoon to life so I can date her? Jimmy, that movie is very important to people. If you take her out of there, the movie will change, and people will change too. That would be terrible. But on the plus side, I get to date her. Yeah. Well, that's more than a fair trade. It's still not too late. You can still send her back. Just don't kiss her on the lips. You awakened me. You are my prince. Told you so. <laughs> Jimmy, she's not supposed to be here. Uh. <laughs> Ow. You have to send her back. She doesn't understand our world. Who cares? Look at her. I don't hear good things about this girl. Oh, I can't watch. She's some serious bad news. You're on your own, kid. Tell me, Prince, are you in hiding? Is that why you wear such rags and live in these disgusting peasant quarters? Oh, no, no, this isn't, this isn't my room. It's, it's some guy's. It's, um, he's on a trip to a land far, far away. Oh. <laughs> Now I shall awaken my true love with a kiss. Wow, ten years of enchanted slumber have not been kind. Wait, the princess doesn't look anything like... Just one very quick kiss. <clears throat> to awaken the fair maiden. A peck, really. Her lips shall barely touch. <laughs> Perhaps a hearty nudge will suffice. <laughs> Fine! <laughs> Who are you? Your one true love? I must have been in the bathroom during this part the first time. Ah, oh, Jimmy. These must be the horrible peasants you live with. Everybody, this is... You may call me Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Somebody's parents were hippies. Hey, nice outfit, by the way. Big fan of the movie. Honey, you didn't tell me you were inviting a friend. Friend? Pshaw. Jimmy is my one true love. Wait, you're his girlfriend? But you're hot! <laughs> it's true. <laughs> if Jimmy Roberts has a girl like that, I'm gonna have to start rethinking a lot of things. Mind if we sit down? Not at all. Here. Hey! Oh, look, it's Daddy! Hi, Daddy! Yep, she's a fan. <laughs> Your kingdom is mine, King Whistledorf, and no one! Even your precious Prince Lockenvar can save you now. <laughs> I said, not even your precious Prince Lockenvar can save you now. <laughs> He's definitely not going to show up in the nick of time.
time. Too bad for you, because your head's totally going to get chopped off at any moment here. Maybe an ox cart turned over on the Royal Highway. Uh, uh, ah! What are you doing? You're supposed to wait. I got nervous. I don't know. I'm just trying to keep things moving. Oh, nice timing. Sorry, the princess took some convincing to come with me. Plus, we had to keep stopping to go to the bathroom. I have a delicate bladder. Uh, excuse me, which, right? Uh, if you could just point me to the exit. Uh, see, I've got this pottery class, and if I don't show up, I get charged for it. Sorry, I don't know what you're talking about. And I kind of got a... Sure, sure, uh, but, but I need to get home. And, uh, I'm from the real world. Maybe you've heard of it. You look like you're from this world to me. That's impossible. I'm not a cartoon. Really? Uh... Ah! I'm a cartoon! I'm a cartoon! <laughs> I'm a cartoon! I'm a cartoon! I'm a cartoon! I'm a cartoon! I may not have my father's love, but at least I can live in a world he created! Plus, I can bounce around like a spring! Hit myself on the head with a mallet! <laughs> Turn myself inside out! Ta-da! Right. You're not allowed to do any of that! You're supposed to be singing a song about how you can't wait to marry the prince while snails weave you a wedding dress out of mucus! Ah, singing? <laughs> My husband will be gentle and... Ah! Ah! Gross! I'm bored. Gesture. A funny dance, if you please. One funny dance coming up. Go, Jester, go, 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 Jester, go, go, Jester, go, Jester, go. Yeah. Well, it may have pleased the village idiot, but I found it lacking. Jimmy, your majesty is being very rude. Look, I'm sorry, she doesn't know how to talk normally. She's a, um, a foreign exchange student. Oh, why didn't you say so? Welcome to... America! I don't care for his tone, and I don't like the looks of this ogre. Ogre? <laughs> you can talk. I guess you're just a particularly hideous goblin. Uh, excuse me, you will not speak to my daughter that way. Oh, I see the goblin does not fall far from the tree. <laughs> Have them all flogged, Jimmy. Perhaps by this stout wench. What did you call me? You have the meaty arms of a plowman. <laughs> Which reminds me, I'm famished. You know what would hit the spot? Peasants! Wait, you want to eat people? <laughs> not people, peasants. But not until they've been washed. That would be disgusting. Jimmy? Um, sweetie, can you come with me for a second? In this kingdom, we don't eat peasants. But my prince, what does it matter to you how I treat commoners? Those are my friends, except Lance. They should be treated with your respect, except Lance. But they're also coarse and disgusting. <laughs> hey, hot crazy girl. What is it about Jimmy? Is it his flat, lifeless hair? His goofy shirt? His love of bad song parodies? Because I don't have to be this cool. Craig, not now. OK, here's the deal. In this kingdom, everyone is equal and should be treated with dignity. Even him? Honey, you treat me however you want. <laughs> Even him. Look, you're a great princess, but you've either got to figure out a way to fit in with the people here, or you're going to have to go back. Or I could do this. Whoa! <laughs> Problem solved. Here's some friends we can both fit in with. What did you do? You said those people were coming between us, so I sent them away. <laughs> don't worry, you can still see them whenever you want. Wow, this TV is pretty good. I feel like I'm really there.
bless the pie of much grease. A little help here. Give me that. My friends don't belong in your cart too. Sure they do, silly prince. Look at how much fun they're having. Oh. Where are we? We have to defeat this dragon or we're all doomed. Let me know how it goes. Oh. Seems we're alone. No! Oh, they're fine. Look, I'll just rewind it. <laughs> Little boy, I get eaten 27,000 times a day. Now it's their turn. I'm a cartoon. Sonny, you're back. I'm a cartoon. Sonny? Step on it. What? I need your help to get my family back. But that troll has my switch magic. He's so small, if we both rush him, I bet we can grab it. It hurts where you're sitting. Oh. My rib cage. Oh. 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 Pizza guy, hope you have change for a 20. I got to lay off the pizza. Seriously. Oh, let's go. Oh. 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 Okay, Sonny. My brain created those cartoons, so it should be able to send it back, right? Uh, absolutely. Um, ah, uh, here, uh, put this on. <laughs> Yo, home slice, where's the trust? Trust? You've been trying to steal my brain ever since you moved in. You notice that, huh? Yes. <laughs> Look, Jimmy, you have my father's brain, and I thought I had a right to get it back, but when I came here to steal his brain, I, I found a family. And I'm not going to let my family get stuck in my lousy father's crummy cartoon universe. I almost trust you. Now I trust you. If my brain leaves my head for a second, the switch which I'm holding will release that blade. Well, it seems like overkill, but whatever. Uh, uh, by the by, if in the future you tire of that little brain of yours, uh, maybe you could let me borrow the sweet parts? I, I, you just, just try and concentrate on the cartoon center of your brain. Okay. I think I'm accessing the sleepy princess world. Mm. <laughs> nice. Get out! Sick you! My prince, are you trying to send us back? Look, fairy tale guys, you don't fit in here. It's obvious. But you're my true love. It's my job to spend the rest of my life kissing you and making you happy. Why? Just because I woke you up? Yes! That is what the rules say. Well, my brain made the rules, and my brain can change them, all right? You guys can do whatever you want. Whatever I want? <laughs> Even take care of sick trolls and giants? If you want to, you can. You all can. I'm setting you free. <sighs> That's scary. And wonderful. Yeah. You guys go home and think of what you want to do, and do it. My brain says it's okay. Thanks for waking me up a second time, Jimmy. I'm sorry I kept thinking you were short. Well, dear Prince, we shall remain good friends and keep in touch as we pursue our different career goals. I will open a chain of stores called Pizza Castle and have my stable boy Percival perform deliveries in a fortnight or it's free. And I will try to get into medical school and find a cure for troll warts. Good luck with that. It will take more than luck. It will take two years of organic chemistry.
Right. Okay, then. I could have sworn they got married in the end. Yeah, bad ending, but the middle really sucked you in. Can I walk you home, Robin? No, thanks. The romantic mood is completely spoiled. <laughs> Funny how that happens. Nice going, Jimmy. You destroyed the most romantic movie ever. Well, maybe if people spent less time watching romantic movies, they could appreciate the romance of real life.